Yo, what is good YouTube? I am Richie Cam, and today I'm gonna to be bringing you all my review slash like over one month wear update on the Adidas Yeezy Boost 700 V2. Before we get started, if you all enjoy sneaker content just like this, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button down below. But anyways, let's get right into it. So I never did an initial review of this shoe. I just didn't really feel like it and I just put them straight on feet and then I have been wearing the hell out of these shoes and Honestly, this has become one of my most favorite pair of shoes to wear just because it pretty much goes with everything Whether you want to you know dress it up dress it down It just works and I really really like that about the V2 So first things first, you know from the midsole down It is the exact same tooling as the 700 V1 like the Wave Runner colorway Everything is the same even down to like the boost and the outsole It does feature the exact same outsole as the V1 with the exposed boost windows scattered throughout the outsole Even the midsole design itself looks exactly the same But where everything changes is the upper on the V2 You know when I first saw images of the V2 700 I really wasn't feeling it I just thought it looked a little bit weird but in hand and on feet, these things look absolutely amazing. From my perspective, I think that the upper on the V2 is way nicer than what they used on the V1 in terms of like material wise and even aesthetics. So on the 700 V1, they did use pretty nice materials, but you know, the materials were just different. On here, I feel like they're using a lot higher quality leather as well as like the suede and even the mesh just feels a little bit softer so it feels a lot better on foot. So starting off with the toe box area, you do have that pretty similar design to what the V1 had. It does have like this little fork in the toe box where this piece is actually a piece of suede. Underneath the suede and these leather panels is that really nice and soft mesh. As you move up towards the middle of the shoe, you actually do have these two panels of leather that run throughout the pretty much the entirety of the shoe, as well as you encounter these three stripes, which is like Adidas's three stripes, even though it doesn't really look like it. I believe that's what Adidas did to put their branding on here, but it's a very subtle Adidas branding, which I really like. And then also, you know, they did do the stripes in 3M, which also looks really great, especially in the correct lighting. These things just pop. The base of the entire shoe is this like kind of knit upper. So that runs throughout the whole shoe. And as you move towards the back of the shoe, the leather paneling continues, whereas you can also see the exposed areas of that knit. On the very back of the heel, you can see that this like cream colored leather panel does exist as well as like this gray suede and you do have a hint of 3M right directly on the back of the heel. Around on the tongue area where your laces go through the eyelets, this piece is actually leather, which is really nice leather. And you know, you do have the tongue that's also made up of this knit with a mesh underneath. I'm pretty sure it's due to material usage on this shoe, but I believe the V2 runs true to size where I think the 700 V1, you could have gone up half size. The 700 V2 just fits a little bit roomier, which I personally like. It doesn't feel as tight, especially around in the forefoot area. If you guys have like slightly wide feet, I think going true to size is perfectly fine in the 700 V2, whereas in the 700 V1, I would recommend going up half size. Another key difference besides, you know, the whole upper of the V2 compared to the V1 is the fact that this tongue isn't as long and it's actually attached on the inside. You can kind of call this like a one booty construction, but at the same time, not really because there is a tongue and it's a full tongue. It's just stitched along the inside of the shoe. As we move towards the inside of the shoe, you do have your sock liner in gray and that gray like mesh material. And on the inside, you do have your Adidas and Yeezy branding. And just to mention, this insole is actually an Ortholite insole. You can actually see the Ortholite branding right there. So that makes this shoe even more comfortable because the 700 V1 did not have an Ortholite insole. So like I said before, the 700 V2 features the exact same tooling as the 700 V1. It's just the upper is different and I think they made the change for the better. The 700 V2, I think, it's very comparable in aesthetics. Like I can't really choose one over the other aesthetically, but comfort wise, I can definitely say that the V2 is more comfortable. Not to mention in this colorway in particular, I think it's way easier to wear than the 700 Wave Runner. Like I said, this isn't only gonna be a review, but it's gonna be like my update after wearing this for over a month. And you know, I already told you guys that I have been wearing this shoe a lot. And even after a month, you know, it really doesn't show any signs of 
wear and tear besides maybe some creasing on the midsole and like I guess where the toe box area is. Comfort wise, I think it's still completely the same. The outsole hasn't worn down at all, which is really nice. I think the durability of the shoe is great. The comfort is great. And you know, overall, I think it still looks great aesthetically. I think Adidas and Kanye really just killed it with the 700 V2. It is definitely a great looking shoe and a very comfortable shoe that you can pretty much wear with anything that you want. So that's pretty much it for the details of the shoe. So let's see what they look like on feet. That's pretty much it for this review and update on the Yeezy 700 V2 in the static colorway. If you guys like this video, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button down below. Also smash that thumbs up button for me as it really does help me out. While you guys are at it, check out this video on my left and on my right and that's pretty much it. Until next time, peace.